Hello everybody. Welcome to our tutorial on Soundtrap. So this is Soundtrap right here. Basically it's like your normal DAW, like GarageBand or Audacity, except it's online. So you access it by going on your web browser and everything saves to a cloud and not to your laptop or computer. Also, you can access it through your phone or a tablet by downloading, downloading an app. In addition to being able to record and edit music and access it online yourself, you can also collaborate with people. Now, anyone can get an account for free, but there's also different levels if you want to pay more. And when you pay more, you also get more sounds and more loops. There's also a podcasting element, so you can also record as a podcaster. In addition to your personal account, you can also get uh, an education account. So what's great about the education account is that you can use it with your clients and not have to worry about privacy things because it is secure and no one else can ask to collaborate with you. So although it isn't HIPAA compliant, it is FERPA compliant and a couple other child privacy things. You also have to be um, of a certain age, like your students or clients have to be of a certain age in order to use it. But this really is great for keeping things secure and making sure that no one is able to act, no one outside your clinic or outside your school is able to, you know, access the music that you're creating or see what you're doing or find out any, you know, private information like, you know, your uh, client's email or, or age or anything like that. So once you've made your account, it's going to look something like this. And as you can see, there are things that say public and private. If you're in the education route, it's going to be all private. So in order to start and so in order to start making music, there's two ways you can do that. You can either go to Enter Studio right here, or you can go to Studio right here. So I've actually already created a project, so I'm going to go into here. Granny demo. All right, and this is what it looks like. So the different elements that you have in here that you can start making music with is right here. There's loops, and the loops appear right here, and you can search. And like I said, there's different levels of accounts. So if you have a music maker account, then you can use everything that says music maker. But since I don't have one, I have to find the ones that say free, which is right here. All right, so in addition to loops, you can also play with a beat maker. So the way this works is you have your different types of instruments here. And then here, these are the measures. So you see one here and you see two here. And each of these blocks right here represents a, a quarter note. And then these tinier ones within it represent 16th notes. So if you were to wanting to make a beat, you figure out which instrument you want. Kick, snare, hi-hat, crash. These are types of drums. And you just plop them down by clicking here. And let's say I want to put snare here. And let's see how that sounds. And then you go down here and you click play. Nice, so I just made a beat with the beat maker. But if you want something that's even more visual, you can go up here, see here there's patterns, you can go to the left and you can go to instrument. So 
you see how there's different letters and numbers here. This corresponds actually to the keyboard that's literally attached to your laptop or your computer, whatever you're using. So if I press my A button, then you see that the bass drum lit up. And if I wanted the snare over here, I'd press D. So pretty cool, you can control it all with your keyboard. And if you don't like these sounds, you can go here to where it says vanilla and click it. And now you see there's all these different types of drums that you could use. So let's try, and if you wanna test out what they sound like, you click the purple play button right next to it. Let's see what does Milky sound like. All right, let's do Milky, so I'm gonna click that. All right, so now, you see this changed from vanilla to Milky, and let's see what it sounds like. Nice. All right, so in addition to making drum beats using loops, you can actually also play the synth. So just like the drums had all these letters and numbers on it, this keyboard has letters and numbers on it. So if I press, let's say, my Z on my keyboard, can you hear that? And if I press the three, then you hear that F sharp. Yep. And let's say you don't like the sound. Again, you click right here. And you can try the different types of sounds. So if you don't want any synth, you can also go here to the left side and choose different types of instruments. So let's say I want some guitar. There's all these different choices right here of types of guitars you can use. So I'm going to use, let's use electric bass. All right, and now all the different sounds of electric bass can be found here. Yeah, I like the bass harmonics, so let's do that. So I double click it and let's test it out. So if I wanted to record it, I would actually, yeah, I would click record and it counts down, two, three, four, and I'd stop it, press cancel, and let's see how it sounds. Nice, all right. So as you see, there's this purple thing right here. It says use this bar to adjust the input area in patterns. So this means that this is just looping over and over again for one measure. So we wanna make it loop more. So what you do is you take your mouse and you wait till it becomes this little like two arrow thing and you click down and hold and you drag it. So now we have an eight bar thing. So that's how you input notes. So you can either browse loops, um, you can make beats, or you can play on your keyboard with different sounds. Also, if you have a MIDI controller like this, or like a drum pad, you can actually connect this into the synth. <laughs> You can also record into it by clicking add new track and you can add in a voice or microphone. Um, and then here, over here, is where you can find the different types of microphones that you might have plugged in or your computer itself. And then you click start record and then you'll hear yourself. And once you've got your instruments down, but you want to repeat something, let's say I want to repeat this milky drum loop. When I hover over it with my mouse, you can see 
there's a couple of things that pop up that aren't there before. One of them is the circle arrow thing, and this is called the loop. So if you hold that it down with your mouse and keep on holding and drag it to the right, then it loops it over and over for you. All right, and I can do the same with these bass harmonics. Okay, so another cool thing about this is that you can collaborate with people. So the way that you collaborate with people is by going to the right hand side and underneath the loop button is this blue button. So you click the blue button and it says collaborators invite. So I'm going to invite my friend Grant. And and you can do so by either adding them here through email and inviting them or by copying the link and sending to them through iMessage or Facebook Messenger or whatever you want to do. Okay, so while I'm waiting for Grant to come on, another thing I want to note is some other features of it. So if you go down to the bottom, you've got these buttons. So you got master volume right here. You have the time, you have record, you have stop, um, rewind, play, fast forward. Also here, this is where if you want, you can put the key of your song. You don't have to, but you can. And here is also where you can do your tempo. So you can either type your tempo or you can tap it. And it'll change it exactly to what it is over here. All right, and then over here, this is where you can keep your metronome on or off. On, off. All right, let's see. Also, let's say you record something but you're not super happy with your notes. Maybe one is off beat or you wanna transpose it. So you hover over your track and you click edit. And here, you can edit the notes individually. So it's right here. So you can see this is a keyboard to the left and these are the notes. So let's say you wanna make this one longer, you click it, you hover over to the right, click and hold, drag to the right, and that makes it longer. And then if you wanted to transpose it, you could bring it up or change the note. And because it's a loop, that's why all of these are changing too. If this were a longer track, it wouldn't do this. So let's get it back to C. Another thing you might not be happy with. So, um, and then let's say you want to quantize it, which is adjusting the notes to start on, you know, a quarter note or an eighth note or sixteenth note or thirty-second note. You could even do triplets or swing. Yep. So that's right. So let's say I wanted to make sure that it was on the quarter note. All right, so things shifted ever so slightly so that it was on the quarter note. Nice. All right, let's see if Grant is here. <laughs> 